Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Now, I don't want to go saying that I've been a complete idiot, utterly out of touch with reality. But, well, if you want to know the rest of this story, stick around. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind, because it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. Okay, so here's the deal. Anyone who's watched my channel for any amount of time has probably heard me say probably about a million times that I think it's a great idea for people to get some kind of a retreat location and build some kind of a small structure there. I advocate it in so many different ways. I make uh, you know videos about different types of structures that you could build, uh, demoing different structures that I've built here. I've even gone to the length of building an entire popsicle stick uh, mini house, <laughs> you know, stick by stick, board by board, uh, you know, in order to kind of show people this is something everyone can do. But I also understand that I'm beginning to understand understand, I should say, that, you know, just listening to some random a-hole on YouTube isn't necessarily enough to make people feel safe jumping into something like that. And for myself, uh, in particular, when I started this uh, down this journey and I built my first structure, it wasn't me just watching random videos on YouTube. I got a kit from a kit company. I kind of built using that kit's uh, methodology and their kind of workflow. I learned doing it that way, and then I felt confident to you know go and kind of freeform on a lot of my own things. But I started with the safety of a kit. Now, recently, I did a video, which was a video response to Canadian Prepper's video where he was building a bunky life uh, uh, cottage kind of cabin thing. And I had some issues with the way that that went up. And, you know, uh, you know, I had some commentary on things I thought could be improved or things that, uh, you know, I thought could be better about that. And when I released that video, I was... Uh, Later on, contacted by the owner of Bunky Life, he wanted to set up a call where we could kind of talk back and forth about uh, you know different ideas that y people from the prepping community might have on how to improve some of their uh, their offerings and how to how they could better serve our community. Now, uh, in that conversation, I brought up the idea that you know he has a lot of different uh, styles of cabins that they offer, but again, none of them really uh, cater to a lot of the needs that preppers have. You know, the type of uh, structure that we would be uh, you know looking to have on a a, uh, on a piece of retreat land is different than like some kind of like you know vacation kind of house that you might have like next to some lake somewhere so they're really different needs so uh, what we're gonna do and I want what I want your help on is to uh, come up with some ideas about things that we would like to see in the ultimate kind of prepper bunkie and I'm gonna work hand in hand with his company and we're going to create something that is Tailor fitted uh, to the needs of our community. Now that said, we're not going to be able to put everything in there. I, you know, th there are just so many different things that you could do, and I want to make sure that this is created in a way where it doesn't break people's bank, where it's still something that's affordable to people, but it's going to check off a lot of the boxes that people are really looking for. One thing in particular that came up during our conversation was the idea of storage space. Now, if you just go into that kind of like place where you kind of can sleep and you know you'll go bathing at like this little kind of vacation cottage, you know your needs for storage are going to be like a towel and a toothbrush and like a bathing suit or something like that. If you're thinking about like a prepper cottage, you're going to want to have like a serious pantry there. You're going to want to have storage, maybe secure storage, you know, that is, uh, you know, hard for someone to just break into and get, you know, whatever they, they might be in there out. The idea of like secret storage and all that kind of stuff. So there are all sorts of things that you would definitely want to have built into a prepper cottage that there's just no reason to have in a lot of their other offerings. So that's what we're going to be designing together. And I'd love to have your help on it. Now, uh, oftentimes people would just, uh, drop comments in the comment section below and you can do that if you like but I'd really like to move this over to another place uh, you know and the reason for that is you know YouTube it's just it's not really my favorite platform and every time YouTube improves their platform I in my opinion it gets even worse so I'd like to uh, move our conversation over to a place where I don't know comments won't be deleted by people <laughs> so uh, we're gonna put it over on my patreon page now this doesn't mean that you have to pay to get over there it's just gonna be like free and open to the public but I want to put it over there because I'm just tired of YouTube uh, uh, you know, deleting people's comments. And if you take the time to share your thoughts, I want them to be preserved so that the community can really talk about them. So that's where we're really going to have the uh, the conversation about this is over at uh, pa uh, patreon.com slash praxis prepper. Here's the link uh, uh, down in the description. Here's it graphically on the screen. Uh, so hop over there and leave me any thoughts of things that you would like to see represented in this kind of ultimate prepper 
cottage. Now again, we're not gonna be able to include everything in there. One of the first things that popped in my, my mind was like, hey, what about bulletproof walls? And that'd be totally possible, and that could be certainly something that people could do, but I don't know if that's something that you'd wanna put in on the base model because you know there'd be a lot of cost and expense associated with that, and everybody may not want that kind of thing. So we're gonna kinda of take the most important things uh, that you know, people are all bring to the table things that aren't going to break the bank because I want to make a kit that's actually accessible and affordable for people because if you can't afford it, what's the point? How great it is? Uh, we're going to pull it, pull it all together. I, you know, I've, I've uh, designed and built a lot of houses. I'm going to work within their kind of uh, design framework. I'm going to present them a proposal and you know, I'm sure there'll be a little bit of back and forth and then we're going to release it. So if you would like to be part of this process and if you would like your ideas represented in this I like to call it the Praxis Prepper Signature uh, Monkey Life Model. If you would like your ideas to be represented in that, you know, uh, hop on over to, to the Patreon page. We're going to have our conversation over there. Uh, we're going to be simmering with the ideas over the next couple weeks, and then we're going to uh, get this thing going because I'd like to get our design over to them as soon as possible so that they can turn it around and make it available to people as soon as possible. So I hope that you find this interesting and engaging. I hope that you want to share your ideas. Again, patreon.com slash Praxis Prepper. It's free. You don't have to, you know, like join my community over there or anything like that. I'm just going to have this open to the public. I just want to make sure nobody's comments get deleted and that everyone's ideas are able to be included in this brainstorming session. That's it, and thanks for watching. If you want to see the review that I did of Canadian Prepper's Bunky Life build, click on this video over here.